wishbone. Do you see it? <laughs> I'm sitting here and I'm like, what is going on with this log? He needs a hand. Well, it's about a uh, quarter to four and the rain is slowly ceasing. Uh, the little drips are probably just coming off the trees, maybe. I don't see too much on the water anymore. Well, look who's come back to join us. This sun. Thank you very much. It's so good to see you. Uh, this is the scene here at Camp Camp Camper Christina. <laughs> uh, just been sitting here hanging out under the tarp and listening to my audio book and I uh, processed a bunch of wood. I haven't got the fire started yet. I'm a little bit lazy. Just looking to see uh, what's happening out here. Looks like the clouds are going to the right, so that's fantastic. Um, and it looks like it's clearing up. Well, I'm walking along, uh, heading to where I saw some wood that I can get uh, for the fire. And look at these beautiful colors in here. This whole little corner is all golden. It's so pretty. It is 10 to 5 and I've got my fire going quite nicely. Uh, temperature on my thermometer now says it's 17 degrees. It's 85% humidity and the sky is blue, blue, blue. There are some clouds just around the top of the trees, but they don't look threatening. So I'm pretty stoked about that. Uh, I'm just getting ready to start my turkey dinner, my Thanksgiving dinner that I'm making today for myself on the fire. Uh, I have a thigh, a turkey thigh. I got a package um, from the grocery store. I'll put a little answer here. I was so excited to see it vacuum packed with two turkey thighs. It was around nine, ten dollars, something like that. I just put some poultry seasoning on it and some seasoned salt. And I'm gonna, I've got it in the pan here just to give it the stability, but I'm gonna wrap it in the foil and then I'm gonna put it on the fire. That's gonna go first. Uh, I have some turkey gravy here. I have some mashed potato mix, I have some stuffing mix, and then I have a variety of different bowls and things and some butter, of course. Butter is for both the stuffing mix and the mashed potatoes. And um, I'm gonna make, I've got some water in here so I can boil some water, uh, but I'll do that in a bit. First thing I need to do is get the grill on and get the turkey thigh on, because that's gonna take a while. Well, it's just going on 5.30 and uh, my turkey thigh is cooking along nicely. Um, I have added another pot, my Kid Products Titanium Pot, uh, so that I can make my gravy in there. Uh, it is boiling now, so I'm gonna put the package in. I didn't measure, it's supposed to be a cup, 
Um, I wasn't going to use the whole package. I think I've just put too much water in there. And then in here, uh, this one I have boiling water as well. That's going to be for the uh, mashed potato mix and the stuffing. Um, but right now I'm going to make the gravy. Somebody's over there. <laughs> I don't know where. I'm putting it all in. Hopefully it's not too weak, but I'm gonna simmer it, so. I didn't measure it, I just put a little water in there and I was gonna add a little gravy and make some. I wasn't gonna make the whole package, but then I saw it was a cup of water, so I'm like, eh, not that much gravy. I like gravy. Gravy's like the best part of Thanksgiving, I think. The turkey wasn't cooking that good where the bone was, so I just kind of like sliced a chunk off where the bone was and like put it face down. So there's two pieces now. It's not gonna look pretty, but I don't care about that. Uh, I have my water boiling now. So I am going to make my mashed potatoes and my stuffing. The gravy is done. It's a little bit thick, but that's okay. And uh, and I'm gonna put everything together and eat. I can't wait. So hungry. I'm just eyeballing this. I don't know how much to put in each. I'm just gonna put some water in. Put it back on here to keep it nice and hot. And stir them up until I get the right consistency. Stuffing doesn't take as much water as the mashed potatoes, it seems, so good to know. Okay, the plate ready, and I'll be right back. Okay, turkey. Oh, the gravy. gonna look like I can't see it again like I said but let's hope <laughs> it's perfect there you go <laughs> it's so heavy I'm gonna leave the gravy on here so I can keep this nice and warm by adding more hot gravy as I'm eating. All right, let's go try it. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. It smells so good. Mmm. Uh, sun's just starting to go down. It's perfect. A little piece of turkey. I gotta be careful because if I push down too hard on my plate, all the gravy comes up and wants to uh, abandon ship. Mmm. Yes. Oh my gosh, so good. <clears throat> I'm gonna go eat. I probably can't eat it all, but I'm gonna give it a go. And, uh, I'll be back in a bit. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. Uh, it might be American Thanksgiving by the time this video comes out, or maybe that's even past two. I don't know, but I'm okay with that. Bon appetit. Oh my gosh. Mm. I am getting the perfect front row sunset view. So I'm quite happy about that. I'm sitting here eating this. I mean, doesn't get any better than that. <laughs> it's a good, good day. 
that gravy trick is working great. I've uh, added it three times now um, as I've been like, you know, going through the mashed potatoes and they start getting dry. I just add some more gravy and the gravy is sitting on the fire. So it's nice and hot and it just heats everything back up. It's fantastic. Uh, sun has just dropped behind the trees here. And um, my dinner is delicious. I am loving it. Mmm, so good. Well, it's 645 and this is the scene here on Little Margaret Lake. Super quiet. Um, that ATV came and went, I think. I don't know. I just saw something in the water there, but it disappeared. There's a couple little rings. Um, yeah, sun has gone down. It's uh, starting to get dark already. It's not even 7 o'clock. It's kind of crazy. Uh, I'm super full. That dinner was freaking amazing. Um, I don't even have room for dessert. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Oh, well. Maybe i have a hot chocolate later. I don't know. just out here taking some pictures and videos and I see my friend the beaver is out there uh, let's see if I can figure out where there it's quite a distance away but he's out there doing his thing that is all that's going on here. The sky's looking kind of cool with the uh, mirror water and the reflection of the clouds in it. It looks way better in real life. Um, it's hard to explain. It's weird sometimes how the videos and the pictures show up. And uh, it's different than what you see with your eyes. Uh, hello. <laughs> it is 8 o'clock and I'm just sitting here by my fire. Uh, it's pretty dark out already. I just went to the tent and I finally put on my um, shoes and socks because I was still wearing my water water socks. Well, actually, I just had my water shoes on. I took my water socks off after I got here and I've been walking around just in the keen water shoes um, with my pants rolled up. But it's uh, starting to get a little bit chilly and um, I wanted to close up my feet. So I have some nice warm uh, socks on and um, I have my fleece tights on which I probably I, I don't know if I need them tonight or not it's supposed to go down to feels like 11 um, that's about it and just sitting here chilling and listening to my Adam Schultz book I still have uh, six hours to go <laughs> so it's coming down to the water to fill up my water bottle I saw these two eyeballs hello froggy Ah, oh, he's probably blinded by the light. Oh, I turned the light down and he took off. I think. Yeah, he's gone. I think he took off quick. Sorry, buddy. That's probably blinding him. <laughs> it's a pretty bright light. Oh, he's over there. Hi, buddy. Okay, I'll leave you alone. Alright, I'll do what I came for. Oh, there's some little fish. Oh, there's a little fish. Oh, there's one that's not super little. Hi, guys. See him there? He's going under the rock. And there's another one there. Cool beans. All right, I gotta go. <laughs> as soon as I turned the light away, all these polywogs came out. There's a couple of them on the rocks here. They're coming from over here. I don't know where they came from. There's little little minnows in here. A bunch of little minnows hanging out. And polywalk. <laughs> They're so funny. Okay. Uh, squirrel. Just get sidetracked. This one likes the light. Look at them all. Just appearing out of nowhere. Well, maybe they like the light. I don't think they like the light. I thought that's why they hide under rocks all the time. Ooh, there's a whole bunch. 
<laughs> so cute. <sighs> okay. Uh, it's 9.30. I'm still sitting over here by my little fire. Uh, it's really nice out. Uh, my thermometer says it is 11 degrees. 11.1. <laughs> um... Just got a, a message from Jenny. Uh, I didn't have cell service all day. It was really weird. I got here. I changed my reservation online. You know, credit card number, all that stuff. Um, I was listening to an audiobook on YouTube there for about 20 minutes. And then I didn't have a signal pretty much the whole day, uh, even before the rain started. And now I can get everything again, except for the weather network. Uh, it'll bring up Algonquin Highlands, and that's it. I can see the temperature, but I can't see the hourly. It says this information is not available. So Jenny screenshot it for me and sent it to me. So basically it's not supposed to start raining now until 4 or 5 a.m., but it's still supposed to like slow down or stop around 12 or 1 o'clock. So anyways, basically I'm in for a wet morning probably tomorrow, which is fine. I totally anticipated that was going to happen and that's the way it is. It's all good. Um, I still had rain today already, but um, it worked perfectly. Uh, it wasn't pouring when I was cooking my dinner, which was like, I don't know, the most important part of this trip, I think, um, because it's Thanksgiving and I wanted to make a nice dinner on the fire, which I did. And now I'm just sitting here enjoying the warmth of the fire, uh, even though it's not cold, like it's 11 degrees. I don't know if you can see. You can see my breath out here and I don't know why because it's 11 degrees but well it's 10 to 10 I'm in my tent and uh I just heard something galloping <laughs> definitely galloping I don't know what it was um it was really loud I was listening to my audiobook and braiding my hair it gets super tangled and knotted when I'm sleeping in my sleeping bag for some reason. Um, and I was like, what is that? I hear something. So I turned off the sound and I heard something galloping. Something's outside. It sounded like a dog running or a deer or a horse. Like it sounded like something was galloping. I heard duh, 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 duh. and then I screamed and said, get out of here, go. And I clapped my hands and I said, get out. And then that was it, it was quiet. I should have heard it run away or something. see what happens. <laughs> if you don't hear from me again, you know something went wrong. <laughs> maybe good night, maybe not. <laughs> well, good morning. It is 740 on Saturday morning, uh, October 7th, I believe. And it still hasn't rained throughout the night. Uh, it was supposed to start originally last night. Then it got moved to 5 a.m. and now it's 7.40 and it's still not raining. Uh, I got up to go to the privy at 7. I was having the best sleep ever. And um, I thought, you know what, I should pack up as much as I can. Um, the tent is a little bit wet still from yesterday's rain. But packing up in the rain and packing up a wet tent are two different things. Uh, so I've got almost everything packed up. I just have to take the tent down. Um, just came down here to bring a load of stuff uh, under the tarp, um, which I still have set up because I'm going to make a nice uh, pancake breakfast this morning. But um, first I am going to get my tent down. I've got my swish, swish, swish rain pants on today and my rain coat. This stuff needs to come back with me. And... Uh, yeah, everything's ready to go here. Just have to take the tent down quickly and uh, then I'll bring the backpack and um, all of the contents uh, under the tarp so I can pack it accordingly and uh, keep everything dry. So that's pretty awesome. Hopefully I get it done in time.
Well, good morning again. It is quarter after eight and it is pouring. Oh, it's just raining right now, but it was pouring a few minutes ago. Uh, I managed to pack up the tent and all my stuff and get the backpack in here. Everything's behind me here. Uh, all of my gear is underneath this tarp right now. Um, I batten the hatches back down. Yesterday after the uh, rain had stopped, I loosened all the uh, tie downs that were keeping it from blowing up uh, just to give it more air and let it, you know, be higher up for the fire. Um, so I tied those back down so that I'm uh, fairly cozy in here and uh, I'm going to make breakfast now. So today I'm going to be making pancakes, strawberry and chocolate pancakes. I just made them on one of my recent trips, but they're so good, I had to make them again. Um, I have maple syrup uh, crystals in here. There's two tablespoons, uh, and I need to add two tablespoons of boiling water to that. So I'm gonna make that first, and then let that sit. I have some dehydrated strawberries here that I've already put some water in, and they're almost rehydrated. I have some chocolate chips here. I have four breakfast sausages that I've already cooked. I'm just gonna kind of uh, heat them up in the pan after the pancakes are done. And then I have some pancake mix. So I'm just gonna add some water in here and I'm gonna mix it right in the bag and then pour it out. I'm gonna be cooking uh, on my uh, backcountry stove today, not on the fire. Oh, I got my sausages cooked. Mm. Schneider Sizzlers, they're my favorite. Special thanks to my mom for these ones. The sausages are good. Thanks, mom. Mm. The sky is lightening up and it's also pouring pretty good. So it actually slowed down for a bit and I felt kind of bad because I thought, oh, you know what, instead of sitting here making breakfast, I should just go before the weather gets worse. And then it just started downpouring, so I mean, it was happy I wasn't out on the water. All right, it's looking pretty bubbly, but not everywhere. <laughs> I haven't touched it yet. I have this really bad habit of trying to flip them way before I'm supposed to, so uh, today I would try and wait and see if that worked. Looks like it may have. Well, oh, it's actually loose. Oh, it smells a little bit burnt, though. Let's try to get this corner over here. It's too much. It's too much. It's not going to work. Ah, shit. I lost a piece of it. Whoops. <laughs> it's going to be fun to try to clean up. Off of here, put it on my plate, put on little tidbits. There we go. Put some syrup on here. A little runnier than it should be, I guess, but that's okay. Here we go. Breakfast of champions. Well, once again, it seems like the rain has uh, stopped. Uh, there are some dark clouds, but nothing like there were yesterday. Um, I have finished packing up all my stuff. The only thing remaining is the tarp, which has to be taken down. So I'm going to take that down. And then I'm going to make my way out. Uh, hopefully there aren't too many crazy rainstorms left. And uh, I don't have too many issues getting out. I don't have far to go, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, but my hands are still cold. I'm still chilly, even though I'm wearing my base layer still. Um, it's still 10 degrees, 10, 11 degrees. Just put my thermometer away. Actually, it's right here. 10.5 degrees, 87% humidity. 
So that has gone down. It was 94 when it was raining. Uh, so hopefully uh, most of the rain is gone. Uh, so I'm going to get this tarp down really quick and then uh, get at her. All right, it's 940 and uh, I'm ready to go. All packed up. I just went to do a last check. It's always good to walk around the campsite, make sure you didn't forget anything. And it was a good thing I did that today. Uh, the last time I did it, I think on my five day trip, I had forgotten my sunglasses. Uh, I had that rope in between the two trees there in the front of the campsite uh, that I tied the front rope to and I totally left it there. So uh, I just took that down and put it in my uh, back of my seat here. It's just an easy spot where I can just stick something that's left over and it'll stay there. And um, I'm ready to go. So really great trip, very short, but sweet. And I'm glad I got out at least for a bit. Hopefully the rain holds off until I get out. All right, it's 10 to 10. I am on the water, but I won't be for long. <laughs> I have made it to the portage. <laughs> it was literally a hop, skip, and a jump. There was probably a trail from the campsite that could have took me to it. I didn't even think to look for that. But anyways, hey, it says it's a 310 meter from this side, so it's shorter. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> All right, and I'll load my stuff and make my way over and uh, get back to the axis, hopefully, before it runs. Nice landing. I feel like I'm procrastinating a little bit. Um, part of me wants to keep going and do some more, do a longer trip, um, because that's what was originally planned. And uh, I'm just kind of taking my time. So uh, I was gonna take the canoe first and I thought, you know what, it's a 300 meter. Just grab the bag and go. So I got the bag and my tripod selfie stick and I'm off. Uh, I got my orange hat on because it is hunting season. Uh, I'm not sure if there's hunting in this area or if I'm early or late or what the situation is, but just in case. Uh, let's put it. I'm curious why they put the chicken wire on the boardwalks. Anybody knows? Let me know, because I'm really curious. I've seen this a couple of times now, and I uh, have no idea what it's for. If it's to keep the wood intact, or to keep it from being slippery, I don't really know. Uh, just as I reached the other side, I was looking in the water and realized that it's raining. I can't even tell. Sometimes when you're in the forest, and you're under a bunch of trees, it's not raining too hard. I can't really feel it. See, this is why I shouldn't dawdle. It's supposed to be raining right now. It's supposed to be raining until noon. So, if it's not raining, we should be very lucky and run for it. <laughs> so, that's what I gotta do. All right, it's quarter after 10. I have made it to the other side of the portage fairly easily with all of my belongings. Uh, it's just raining lightly, and I'm about to make my way through Margaret Lake back to the access. Shouldn't take me very long. Um, that's about it for now. Beautiful here, even in the in the dreary rain, it's still so pretty. The rain has suddenly stopped again. <laughs> Seem to be very, very lucky today on this trip for the most part. Lots of pitcher plants alongside the uh, little waterway here on the other side of me. So pretty. I'm a pretty lucky girl right now. Uh, 
there's an opening in the clouds over to my right where the sun shines. And I've got it right on me. The rest of the sky is very dark and gloomy, especially over here. And there's some nasty clouds in front of me. <laughs> there's also a dog barking at me. <laughs> here because some of these angry clouds are coming from over there too. In addition to the sunshine, which is now in front of me, I just turned the corner and the wind started gusting. I got a tailwind. <laughs> it's not much, but it's pretty awesome. I don't have very far to go. Like I think maybe a kilometer, but I'm okay with it. couple of duckies here in front of me. I'm just gonna paddle around. Good morning guys. I don't care that I'm here at all. It is 10.35 and just as the dark clouds are starting to roll back in, I have the access in my view and with just a few more paddle strokes, I will be there. I'm going to go grab my car quick and uh, get all my stuff loaded up, hopefully before the rain starts. And, uh, Happy I got to come out, even though it was just a short little adventure. Everyone counts. They're all special and unique, and they all have a special place in my heart. That's a wrap. Thanks for watching. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please click the subscribe button. Also click the bell for notifications. If you'd like to get more information on the stuff I use on my trips, please check out my website at camperchristina.com. Thanks. Bye.